Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Sean here. So this 4th of July weekend, myself as well as my wife Emma, my brother Joel and friend Andy will be heading up to Maine uh, for like an overlanding slash road trip kind of adventure where we'll hit up a few campsites and stay at some cabins and we'll explore the coast of Maine. And so today I just wanted to kind of show you uh, how we plan the trip and also kind of a few things that we're bringing along on the trip just to be prepared. So let's get into it. Okay, so for this trip to Maine, what we did was we looked for places along the way. You know, we're leaving Friday, so we looked for places along the way um, on Hip Camp that we could find that would kind of connect us to Maine. So it might be about 11, 12 hours to get up here to Maine, but we will do it in five to six hour stints. So on Friday night, we'll leave late, maybe five to six in the evening and we'll make it up to Massachusetts uh, on Friday night. Then on uh, Saturday, we will continue up to Maine where we'll stay at a cabin. On Friday night, we'll be camping. On Saturday night, we'll stay at a cabin. And then on Sunday morning, we'll leave that cabin and explore the coast of Maine up here throughout uh, Deer Island and some of the other islands up here. Then we will make our way back into Western Maine um, where we've also found a cabin uh, up here in Western Maine and then we'll work our way down through the White Mountains hoping to stop by Mount Washington on the way back uh, but yeah so this is how we kind of planned out the trip we we're able to use hip camp um, and basically just search in Maine United States and then uh, we were able to see all the different hip camps in the area so this is the perfect way of kind of planning a trip out in advance. It makes it so much easier staying at hip camps opposed to state parks because you're able to see, see exactly what you're getting. You're able to see the town that it's in. They let you know the exact address after you actually book with them. And you're able to choose the, the, you know, the campsite or uh, the cabin that you want to stay at on the person's property. Uh, and it, it just makes putting together a camping trip so much easier. So of course we're trying to be prepared for this trip and so we're bringing along some tools which include just some general tools like a multimeter and a soldering iron, um, an air compressor and then of course uh, we need oil because our car burns oil and we bring coolant just in case there's a leak and we need to refill it and a funnel to go along with that of course and then we also bring a patch kit and a scanner tool just in case there's any air codes or anything. And one thing that we bring is this set of LED flares. They're magnetic and they have different settings. They basically magnetize to your car. And then if there's any issues and you need to warn people, uh, you just stick these on your car and you're kind of set. Lastly, we make sure to bring a pair of jumper tables, just in case. So I've just finished changing the oil in the cars. Everything's done in terms of that. And we've washed both cars. So we're ready for the trip, just about. And we have a spare tire that we recently got and it fits perfectly where the donut was fitting. We just didn't feel comfortable having only a donut that far away from home. But the last thing we have to do before the trip is Emma has to learn how to drive the Corolla, which shouldn't be very hard because she drives stick and it's a stick shift, but it drives a little bit differently than the BMW and we just wanna make sure that she can drive it so that I'm not having to drive the, you know, during the entire trip because the trip's like 1,700 miles. So next week is 4th of July weekend and 4th of July is on Tuesday. So Sean and I decided that we also wanted to take off Monday as well as Tuesday and make it a long weekend and go on a road trip. So we are heading up to Maine and Sean's been doing a ton of research. He's been getting all our stays all booked up. We're using Hip Camp for our cabins and our campsites that we're gonna be staying at. And he's just been doing a lot to prepare for this trip, which is great. Neither of us have ever been to Maine before, so I am very excited. I think it's gonna be a whole new landscape that we've never experienced before. We're gonna be driving through mountains. We're gonna be driving along the coast. We'll be visiting different nature preserves and some parks and just seeing the area up there in Maine. We're just really excited to be going on a road trip and I think this is gonna be the best one yet. Emma's taking driver's ed for the first time. Is that right, Emma? I'm taking Sean's driver's ed for the first time. So 
So Emma's gonna practice in the parking lot driving stick shift Corolla so that I'm not the only one driving on this road trip, which is gonna be like 1,700 miles. It's it's about to be pouring rain and we're trying to practice driving right now. I'm, I'm Without not... any um, <laughs> ABS or whatever. <laughs> yes, no okay. ABS. Well, that's okay, no ABS in the rain. Okay. That'll be fine. I'm gonna drive like this. <laughs> you know what I should start try doing first? Can I just try just like blipping the, the yeah. gas? Yes, yes. Is that too much? That's good. So you'll like, you're gonna let out the clutch like immediately, or like not too quickly. Like you're gonna let it out, you're gonna slip it just slightly and let the car roll forward. Like you're not gonna let it slip for a long time. Just like. Yeah, okay, okay. First stall. <laughs> I'm gonna keep a tally on the video. How many stall? How many stall? <laughs> All right guys, it's gonna be a tally up on the top left. That was too much. Yeah. I didn't understand that you had to keep your foot on the accelerator and like feather them, feather it so that it stays at that RPM. I thought I had to like let go and drop it. Is this car also learning to drive? There you go, all the way out. There you go. Hey. You got it. There you hey. go. That was pretty good. So the last time we tried this, we were on our trip to New York and we were in a Walmart parking lot and Sean was trying to show me how to drive the car so that I could drive it while we were driving to New York or back from New York, whatever it was. And it wasn't a good time to try that because we were on a tight schedule. We needed to go and we were wasting time in the parking lot trying to get me to learn how to drive in like five, 10 minutes. All right guys, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're taking a lot of time lately to get ready for this trip and to prepare. So uh, we're keeping this one a little bit shorter. So if you like this video, please like it and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, ring the notification bell. That way uh, you're alerted when we make new uploads. And if you don't mind leaving a comment down below if you have any great ideas of places that we should visit while we're up in the Northeast. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.